How many of y'all saw the lecture Flower of Life by your boy Terrence Howard? He got some new awakening. A lot of y'all need to go check it out. Some people are 50 50. Some people are saying he's insane. Some people are saying you got to protect his brain. With that being said, I'm going to need you to sit back and react with your boy. If you like reactions like this, consider hitting the like button and definitely subscribe to the channel. Right now, we're about to check the interview on Joe Rogan's show where he is spilling out all the beans. Right now, he's talking about your boy. Right now, he's talking about how Robert Downey Jr. did him dirty, all right? So sit back and react with your boy. Let me go ahead and press play. Let me stop wasting your time. Let's go. Louis Armstrong recorded everything around him. You know, it's the same thing with uh, Marlon Brando. I recorded all these, all his interactions with people. So I was recording things. And if I'd had phone sex with some girl, I was recording that. If we were having sex, I recorded that because I wanted to make sure there was proof of, you know, if anything happened. Right. But I also recorded my mother the last two weeks before she died. And I had that on a dictaphone. And I didn't play with computers at the time. And um, she was like, oh, uh, why you got this on, on the dictaphone? I can put it into the computer. I was like, oh, great. And we could keep it forever. Wonderful. You're so wonderful. I go downstairs. I'm cooking some greens. Two hours later, I come upstairs. All of my dictaphones from the last 15 years, she has downloaded into her computer. And then she's like, I was like, no, no, those are my private things. I don't, like, oh, no, it's okay. I can just hit delete. And so I was like, okay, great. And then three months later when I tried to break up with her because we had no sexual, you know, there was no chemistry, chemistry sexually. She was like, you think I erased those things? I kept those. And I know what you've done. And, and she started with the blackmail. And all I really wanted back was my mother's tape. You know, where she told me, I know you're going to be okay, Terry. I always knew you were going to be okay. I just wanted my mother's voice back. I paid her whatever money she wanted. She destroyed that. Mm. She destroyed my name. But like I said, I thought that was a death blow. But that's what took me back when I had nothing. That's what took me back to this. And that greater being started showing up again. And you think if that had not happened, you probably would have gone further and further oh my down God. the world of acting and you my, would have abandoned this. Oh, my goodness. I had, you know, I was doing Iron Man. Yeah. Out of nowhere, you know, that gets taken away. We did a three-picture deal with, with Marvel, a three-picture deal, four and a half million for the first one, um, seven and a half to eight million for the second one, 12 million for the third. We signed it. They come back to me the week that my mother dies, and, my, my, and they called my agent, um, Charles King, over at, he was at William Morris at the time, and they said, um, yeah, we want Terrence, but we, we, we want to come back for a million dollars instead of the eight million that we had agreed wow. to. And my agent had an emotional reaction to a business <laughs> decision, and he said, F you, and hung up the phone. Well, immediately they go to Don Cheeto. Oh. And wow. but instead of just doing that, they had to spend. Oh, he was terrible on set, and uh, all of, of these course. things, and went through all this stuff. And I'm calling Robert Downey Jr. I'm calling him because when I was doing the Brave One with um, with uh, Jodie Foster, um, Susan Downey was a producer with Joe Silver. That's old D right there. They did your boy dirty. He got backdoored, but. A lot of people always say they don't like the way he act. I think he can act. I guess it's just your preference of what type of show you're trying to watch. You understand? But I think he's a great actor, if you ask me, in my opinion, all right? Um, she comes over to my, 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 my trailer and she's like, wow, it's so amazing. Um, congratulations on Iron Man. It's the first time they've hired um, the second lead before they've hired the first. But Robert wants to go in there. And they were talking about Clive Davis and all of that. And I was like, okay, great. You know, I'm just moving along doing my thing. And he's, she's like, but Robert really wants to go in, but they won't see him. And I was like, I was like, I love Robert. I love what he does. I loved him in, in, in Weird Science. I loved him. Who in, did they want? They, they want wanted Robert. Clive Davis to play, oh, to Tony play him. Because remember, in the series, War Machine was supposed to take over. Right. And I'm like, well, if Robert wants to come in, so I called Avi Arad immediately. He was the producer on it. And I'm like, Avi, um, I hear Robert wants to come in, but you guys won't even let him audition. He's like, no, we can't bond him. 
Mm. I'm like, instead of the four and a half you want to give me, why don't you take a million dollars for the bond for him? If he gets, if, 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 and, and let him audition, you know, and so he gets the part. Robert is like, I love you. Thank you so much. Da, 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 da. Well, when this other thing happened, I'm calling Robert and he's doing Sherlock Holmes. I called him 27 times and I'm like, and then leave a message. I'm calling his, his assistant. I'm like, I need the help I gave you. I didn't hear from him until three years later. I bumped into him at Brian Grazier's wedding. Wow. And then, but at that time, I'd had um, Empire or whatever, and I came back. And he was like, oh, but everything worked out for you. Mm. And, you know, I'm, that, that broke me a little bit, but I know how hard Robert had it. Coming out of jail. Coming out of that jail. That's deep right there, man. I, who would have ever known this right here? He's a good guy right here, you understand? But Robert did him dirty. That's not how you do somebody who extended the help for you so you can get out of prison and start acting. And look, Robert Downey Jr. career just shot right up. And you let your boy right now. But at the end of the day, Terrence Howard is cool. He's cool in the skin that he's in right now, you know? He is saying that... A lot of things happened the way it did because he would have went in the path of destruction. No matter what, other people would have looked at it as success, but it would have probably took him away from what he's trying to do right now, all right? With that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Run it up, flood it up. If you like reactions like this, consider hitting that like button. Definitely subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell. See you in the next one.